our Factotum Meta IDE gets a space for Ethereum virtual machine exploration. It comes with presets for easily compiling, editing, debugging, deploying, and interacting with Ethereum smart contracts. It loads Ethers.js, has some helper functions and scripts for connecting to a browser wallet, getting the current provider, and signer, deploying a contract. It loads an assembly disassembler EVM ASM, and through the SolC function, the Solidity compiler. We start with a Solidity contract text at B1, which we are compiling with SolC. We use the star option so we can get all the default compilation outputs. ABI, DevDoc, EVM, assembly and bytecode, and other metadata. In B3, we extract the ABI from the compilation result and in B4, the bytecode. But we can interfere in the compilation process at every step and edit the intermediary results. So, in B5, we compile to Yule the intermediary language And in B6, we use this compiled YUL code from the initial Solidity code and wrap it in the editor plugin. So we can temporarily edit it. For example, we can change the initial counter value from 5 to 6 and then save with Ctrl S or Command S. In B7, we again press Command S or Ctrl S to compile this modified source from Yule code to EVM assembly. And if we look at the source now, we can see the changed initial counter value, 6. We can further change this to 7 and control save and command save. And now we can go to the final compilation step in B8 and do a control and command save and get the final bytecode. Note that if you change the Solidity contract or recompile it, these temporary modified sources will get reset. So if you want to use them later, just copy them in another cell. After you get the desired bytecode, you can deploy it, interact with it, and debug it. For a step-by-step -step guide, see the videos linked in the description. Today you have seen how you can control each source generation for Ethereum smart contracts going from Solidity to Yule to EVM assembly to bytecode with the ability to edit the source at each level. You can further edit this factotum space and add any browser compatible package with require. Let us know if your IDE can do this too.